you a god? No. John here guys and today we're talking about the Catalyst Machine Works Bang God 3 inch version. Now we featured the full size version on the channel here not too long ago but I saw that they had built a scaled down 3 inch version of this for some really excellent three inch freestyle fun so that you have a top mounted battery everything that they have learned in the brilliant design um, sophistication that they have brought to the bang god frame is included in this three inch version just scaled down and they made it out of the box um, designed to fit the DJI system. So the camera mount at the front is now made to fit that system. As you can see, I have it installed here. And so if you receive the DJI system for the Father's Day sale that came up, or if you're just looking and trying to decide what should my next quad be, I think you really need to look at this option. And so as I'm flying more and more, building more and more of these DJI setups, I'm starting to realize something. Um, for a lot of us, the quality of footage that you can get with this system is so good. Now it's not as good as a GoPro, but it's so good that for a lot of purposes, such as uploading videos to YouTube, you may be just as satisfied by using the DVR features included on here, especially if you put it into high quality mode. But what if you wanted a quad that could get you all of that beautiful DJI footage DVR for uploading to YouTube to share, but still had the ability to accommodate a full size GoPro. As you can see, this is a scaled down version of the Banggood, so it has all of the mounting holes required that you would need to be able to put on one of the Catalyst Machine Works uh, GoPro mounts for a Session 5, for a Hero 7, or a Hero 8 Black. And with the power system that we have included on board, this has all of the power to do both those things. So, let's get to the bench and cover the build. This is the Johnny 5 edition. I went with a slightly different build formula than Catalyst to try to get a little bit of reduced weight and add a little bit of control feel. Um, the Catalyst guys went with an Emacs 1606, which gives you maximum amount of grunt and power, but I went with a taller 1408, which is a little bit lighter. I also did a couple of other weight savings tricks, ending up at 191 grams for this build. Still a little bit heavy on the freestyle side. Um, especially if you compare it to something like this, which you can also do some HD recording. This is a dual camera Acrobrat that I'm working on for those people that don't want to adopt DJI but still want to get some HD footage. That has two cameras. Um, so HD the old-fashioned way with the Canix Turtles. Uh, this comes out about 20-something grams lighter. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about this DJI setup. Um, so let's remove this top plate and take a look at the build but first oh my gosh now check out this crossfire slash vista antenna holder at the back i actually designed this because i needed something that would hold uh this immortal t it comes with one that is for like a fr sky xm plus but i wanted something like this i've been learning fusion 360 so 20 minutes one night i went ahead and designed this put it on the printer woke up the next morning and i was ready to slap it on and go for a flight um, so if you're not printing and working with fusion 360 uh, and a 3d printer yet i highly suggest you check out my 3d printing content for that but let's go over the build let's go ahead and remove this top plate that's in there I really like the Banga top plate. It's just like the five inch version. It has the little grommet right here for you to be able to run your power lead if you choose. I chose not to, uh, and I just anchored it on one of the standoffs right here. Let's check this thing out. 
Oh, so I have the Vista unit and you can see this 3D printed bulkhead in there has a little channel for you to be able to run that Vista camera cable in there so it's nice and secure. I have it running over the flight controller stack and the Vista is here at the rear right here. Of course, it feeds the little antenna that goes into this holder that holds it up at a nice angle away from the quad for a really great reception. Um, in addition to the Vista, I'm running the Mamba Mark II stack. Now, there's a Mark III available and other ones available, but for a 3-inch, you really don't need all that. So I went ahead and reduced the cost of this overall build by using this $40 stack instead of a $60 version, which I really like. Uh, it has everything needed for both Crossfire and this Cadex Vista unit works perfectly. Speaking of crossfire, you can't really see it here, but I mounted the receiver right under the little section between the stack and the Vista unit. You can kind of see it here on the bottom uh, right there with a little uh, 3M mounting tape. Put it right there nice and secure. Of course, that runs out the side right here to this Immortal T holder, which um, I wanted to get it a little bit down. You can see that my, the, out, the mount that I designed goes a little bit down and a little bit away so that it's fully away from all the carbon for great reception. I'm using a mid-pitch prop. I've tried a couple different props on this. Um, you can use the really high pitch HQ 3 by 3 inch, um, but I wanted a little bit more flight time, a little bit more control, and I was okay with sacrificing a little bit of the punch. Uh, for this so i went with a lower pitch this is the hq 3 by 2.5 pitch 2.5 pitch so a little bit lower it goes perfectly with these 1408 motors and you can get a really nice cruising four to five to six minute flight time and if you're pushing it you can get more like a three three and a half minute um so this formula goes together so so easy. Now on the images that you'll see on the Catalyst website, they like to mount, mount their uh, their stacks with the leads coming out the side. Um, but to do that, uh, I really don't prefer that. I like going out the back. I really wasn't sure if a 20 by 20 stack like this would fit next to it because it did look a little close together, but it actually does fit fine. That way I don't have to remap any motors. I can just do everything as is and the build goes together very nicely and very quickly. I don't know why I always forget to do that one last step of attaching the heat shrink. <laughs> if I do sell this, uh, I will do that for whoever buys this. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of digital builds on the channel. And if you want to buy one, just let me know. Um, this goes together exactly like the 5 inch band guide. You can see that it has the brace right here that adds protection for this camera section that kind of floats in here. It really keeps the... It really keeps everything nice and smooth. The width of this is designed specifically for the DJI. So if you're running a micro camera, you're going to need a little bit of washers or spacers on the on the side, which is still totally fine. Um, personally, though, I think if you're going to build one of these up, go ahead and throw the DJI system in there. If you got one of those systems for the big Father's Day sale, this is a great first option to build. Catalyst Machine Works always has some of the best flying equipment out there that you can get your hands on. And now they are focusing on making things a little bit easier for the builder. And this Bangod design um, is a representation of that. It's so easy to build. There's plenty of space in there to build. And it has a lot of their great, amazing freestyle feel. Another thing I also did was I wanted some little arm protectors. So I designed these up in Fusion 360. They fit just right in the little hole in the arm. So just keep the little arm tips nice and clean. I don't really plan on bashing this, but I wanted to do that. Um, Catalyst runs heat shrink on their arms. They are master builders. That is a little tricky to do. So I went ahead and went a different route. And I just use some Tessa cloth tape on there. It's very strong. It looks quite attractive and it fits on there perfectly. It does go together very nicely. 2020 by 2020 stack at the front. Cadex Vista at the rear. Custom designed holder for your 
Crossfire Immortal T, which I do recommend that you pair with this system. Now, as we mentioned, I went with this smaller 1408 motors because I really, really like the 1408 size versus the wider 1606. And the reason for that is I'd like that top end speed to be able to do some of those uh, maneuvers. I'd like a little bit of that top end there. Should I ever need it, I like a little bit of that increased efficiency if you're just kind of taking it slow and I like the reduced weight. Let's save some of that weight for that GoPro should we decide we ever need it. But with the DJI system, it's kind of like if I'm not on a film set, if I'm not selling this footage, the DJI, you know, eight times out of 10 is good enough for me. And so I'm gonna be using a lot of DJI footage more and more on the channel as opposed to um, HD footage gotten from an action camera. This is an incredibly easy build. If you've always wanted a Catalyst Machine Works frame and you just couldn't afford the price, this one is one of the cheapest offerings that they've had uh, for freestyle at only $55.99. Links below, you can get that for even a little bit less if you use one of my codes. And it just goes together so well. Now, a lot of the three inch freestyle options like this Acrobrat that we showed briefly is a single bottom plate. So if you crack any portion of this, you're donezo. You're off for full rebuild to replace everything. Whereas on the Banggod, you have replaceable arms. That's where some of that weight comes from. Um, so if you really do want a scaled down freestyle um, version that you can really fly with confidence, you don't have to hold back, let it rip. You know, put some of these arm guards on there to keep your motors and your arms safe. But if you crack one, it's not the end of the world. You just replace it for a couple of bucks and you're back in the air, buddy. Um, this package really does reduce the overall cost for a freestyle build because these motors are only $12.99 a piece. This stack is only $40 versus one what I would use on a full size build. I would probably spend $60 to $80. And the frame is a little bit less expensive. So with the DJI system, is there anything this can't do that a full size could do? I mean, without a GoPro on there, I can do punches that are basically the same. With 4.2 and the RCDC Alps gimbals on the T18, it was so, it was so dang smooth. So today with the DJI system, you can really accomplish some things in a smaller package that can meet all of your needs in a way that was really difficult to do before. This is extremely versatile with the replaceable arms. You can really have the confidence to fly it the same way that you would uh, a full-size quad. And of course, if you want matching, you can build up the five inch version of this, which I'm actually gonna do a DJ edition of the five inch and we can kind of get some notes there. But I really like the small size of this. You know, the Cinewoop thing is very popular, but this ends up being a lot lighter than that. Um, and so for safety, would you rather have less weight or the ducks? The, the flight performance of this is very predictable. You know exactly where it's going to go. Whereas on the Cinewoops, the ducks really impact how you can fly. Now, I'm not talking about trying to fly indoors and get some real estate video. I'm talking about taking this to a freestyle spot and having some fun. I'm guessing that like on a, on a full size freestyle build, you're gonna be like 150 grams heavier and your battery is gonna be almost 150 grams heavier. So that's a total weight reduction of almost 300 grams. Very sizable. So great job on this Catalyst Machine Works. This is one of the first um, full style frames that's fully DJI accessible that has completely replaceable arms. Good job. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you switching to DJI? Are you flying any micro DJI frames like this? Which ones are you going with? Is the Bang God on your list? Are you going with something a little bit lighter? Uh, because there are lighter options available, but this one really checks off all the boxes. For that weight, you do get a lot you get the full protection of all the components, which these components are very expensive. And so that protection is very, very attractive. Thanks guys. I'm a God. You're God. I'm a God, I'm not the God, I don't think.